Hi there. Did I explain what's going on, or should I do it all over again? Yeah, I'm trying to get a hold of my, I'm, I'm crafting a federal court order uh, to get an NCIC audit on myself for Brady positive, uh, and I understand that you guys may be the ones who are the holder of all those or who can run NCIC, and so what would you need to see from a federal court uh, so that you would choose? If you're talking about just a uh, I mean, we can do an ACIC, NCIC just for a warrant check. Nope, yep, that's not the issue, All right? And you're looking for something specific? Yes, uh, the whole point of this federal civil rights lawsuit is that I've been unlawfully put on the NCIC's database for Brady positive. Uh, the courts get confused, and probably so do cops, about domestic violence versus civil injunctions against Were harassment. Were you arrested in the state of Arizona for nope. domestic violence charges? Nope, see, that's the issue. It's, it's a civil You've injunction never against... Been arrested no, I have not. So how is it that the um, that's, federal agencies... That's why we're in federal court. <laughs> it's, it's all hosed up. And well, do, do, are they saying that you have an Arizona record? I don't know the answer to that. Uh, I do have paperwork from the Yavapai County Sheriff's Office from a few years ago when I went through this once before that they were instructed by a uh, justice court to put my name uh, in NCIC as Brady positive. I fought that in court and won. How would we go about having somebody run an NCIC on me for just Brady? I mean, I'm told that if the cops stopped me, they would just type it into a CGIS and it would pop up. And well, see, we're a close history state, so I can't write your name in the CGIS, but the CGIS is only for, um, in this case, for criminal history records. So if you've never been arrested, you're never going to have one. Um, if you're talking for an NCIC um, check, I can run that. That's not an issue. Um, but whether that's going to show or give you the information that you want, I don't know. I mean, and, and basically all I can say is whether your um, information is there or not and or whether you're showing a warrant. And I'm not sure that that's exactly what well, you're Yeah, well, I've, I've got the form from the sheriff's office from years ago when this happened where he was instructed by a JP court to put me in uh, the NCIC. I mean, it does say, you know, list as Brady positive, I think was the terminology. So... I mean, I know there's, I know it happens. Um, I, I guess as a start, you're saying you can do NCIC on me? What's that, what's that well, take? Well, we can run an NCIC. It's basically a warrant check. Yeah, well, there, there's a warrant right, or, there won't be. You know, a protective warrant or any of those kinds of things. Right. Well, I, you know, I suppose it couldn't hurt because, I mean, if there's something. Okay, what's your last name? Palmer, P-A-L-M-E-R. And your first name? Is Peter. And your date of birth? Michael. You have a protection order out there. I uh, see. That's what we're fighting about in federal court, because it's not a. But the protection, the protection order is through the court, and whoever the person is that put that out there is the one who issued that out. Now that wouldn't be anything that we would have anything to do. That would be through the court and through that. Protection. No, I, I understand, but you you prove my point is that they've unlawfully put me on the list. So how can I get a print out of that? That's or, a good question because we, we typically don't do that because you should have been given a copy of that restraining order when that went out from the courts. You should have been served with that. Yes, I understand. I, I know who put it in. I, it's the Sheriff's Department in Yavapai. I'm just wondering if they make a distinction in what you're looking at uh, from protection orders versus injunctions against harassment. Or does it say anything about weapons? I mean, is it implied that I'm not allowed to own weapons then when you see that? Is that what that means to you or an officer? It does, and that, again, would be part of the court order that Got it. Uh, the person Okay, excellent. Requested. Excellent. Now, what would you, you seem to be the first person that knows anything what they're talking about here, so this is great. If I get a court order. in trouble then. <laughs> if I get a court order, uh, from the federal court to you, or for, for not, not you personally, what would you need to have it say so that you could give me a printout? Because this would be evidence I for court. I can't tell you that because I do not know. Uh, but okay. before I lose you, because you're the gem here, what's your name and how can I contact you, please? <laughs> My name is Teresa, and I'm at uh, 602-223-2222 from 1 to 9 but I do have one more question. Um, since I've been through this twice, uh, it could possibly be that what you're looking at on the screen is from, does it have a date when it's effective? 
it could have been from a couple of years ago and they forgot to clear it, or it could be uh, from um, September. Oh, see, now that's interesting because they didn't serve me until September. Wow, I would have been in trouble if I'd ever gotten stopped. Oh, man. What happens to them when they put it in the system? But, um, and again, you should have served, you should have been served with this. Well, like I said, they only served me in September with the injunction. And oh, okay, the date of entry is in September. Oh, it is. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, okay. It, does, it does have the date that you're looking at. That is consistent. Um, and again, um, you should have been served with, with, with this protection order because I believe that that is the process. Yeah, that is correct. And, and you are notified that, that it's right, right. going and to be there. Thank you. No problem. Bye-bye.